Hello and welcome at metaquip.nl. Today I'm going to show you how you can do a box, cutting of a paper box and add folding lines into it so you can fold the whole design out of one piece of paper. First I have to get a design, um, kind of lazy trick. I looked on the internet and I found one of our competitors in the US has a neat overview of all kind of paper cut examples so I've been downloading a few and uh, let me show you the happy birthday it's kind of a happy meal box first I've downloaded the DXF file so that gives me the drawing part so I can start from there okay once downloaded we can open up laser cut you can see already the process file here but let me show you how I've done that first I'll import it the DXF, so I'm looking here for Happy Meal. That looks like the file. And here it is. In general, it's very small, but that's due to the mistake that it will it is designed for inches and I'm working in millimeters. So what we will get is a mini version, nice as a gift box. I've rotated it, as you can see in the final version, to uh, accommodate easier on my machine, also spacing out my materials that I'm using. And uh, the second step I've done is to combine these separate lines, which currently are all individual parts. As you can see already, they added two different colors or two different layers into the DXF, which saves you time figuring out which lines you should cut and which lines you should kind of dash or mark to make folding lines later on. Okay, let's remove the part and let's go to the settings. Um, from my experience with the paper I have here, uh, I can work with a speed of 100, a power of 13. This will just lightly engrave the paper halfway and give me a kind of folding line I can work with, but sometimes people would like to have more dashed line. Well, you don't have to make a dash line in your drawing, what you then can do, go to the advanced options and go to dash line. Here you can set the cutting length, for example, 3mm, and the space length, 3mm, and if you want to start with the space or you want to start with the cut. To me, it does not make any difference right now. Okay. Check for safety. Yep, it's not uploaded, but... You can do it like that, then you make dash lines out of it. Okay, the other settings, also from my personal experience with my type of paper, always make a very simple test run and use some paper to figure out your preferred settings. From here we can go now to download. And since I'm having my computer now next to my laser cutter, I can use the download current option and flash it to the machine. In case you don't have it, the best option is to go to export file and make a file which you can then put on a USB drive. There we go. It's uploading into the machine. Seeing the high speeds that I've programmed, I expect that we will have a fast cutting program and I can show you the total results. So I will now switch over to a different camera and you can see how it will run on the machine.